listen. And if you're feeling poorly, just remember this tune. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Because the doctor and nurse, well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. So be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. I'm Dr. Ange. Welcome to our very special hospital just for children. Come on, I'll show you around. Lots of clever people like doctors and nurses work here. And they're specially trained to care for children, just like you. You may come here because you're not feeling well or you need to have a test or an operation. Hello. Hello, Dr. Wang. But don't worry, whatever you're here for, there'll be someone like me to check that you're healthy or to help you get well soon. This is my floor. I'd better get to work. Hello. I'm in the radiology department. This is where we can see pictures of the inside of your body. I have a patient coming to see me today. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. I know who that is. It's Joby. Fast is fun just to watch me Come and sit down. Yeah. Hi, Dr. Rand. Oh, cool machine. <laughs> it looks like a big donut. I couldn't eat one that big, no. <laughs> Nor me, Joby. That wouldn't be good. But it's not a donut, it's a special machine called a CT scanner. Oh. You're here today to have a CT scan. Oh, what's that? CT stands for computerised tomography. Oh, what's that? A CT scan is a way of taking special pictures of what's inside your body. And today, we're going to look inside your head. <laughs> my dad says there's nothing inside my head. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking, Joby. Your brain is inside your head. And with this machine, I can see pictures of it on my screen. Wow! Can you see what I'm thinking? <laughs> <laughs> no, Joby. This machine's not that clever. Now, while the scanner is taking the pictures, I have to go into that little room over there. Oh, um, why, Dr. Ranch? Because the machine takes pictures using something called X-rays. X-rays sound like superhero stuff. Hoo, ha, he. <laughs> well, being so close to X-rays every day wouldn't be good for me. So oh. during the scan, I've got to be in that room over there. Oh. But, um, what about me? Don't worry, Joby. The scan only takes a few minutes, so the X-rays won't do you any harm at all. Ah, oh, that's all right, then. I won't be far away and you'll be able to see me through the glass. Yeah. All you have to do is lie down on this bed and stay very still. Why do I have to keep still? So the machine can take a good, clear picture of you that's <laughs> not blurry. Oh. Mm. I'm really good at keeping still, Dr. Ranch. Well, that's good. There. See, that was really still, wasn't it? You'll need to stay still for a bit longer than that, JB. Just pop your head back here. It will help you to keep it nice and still. I can still wiggle my legs, Dr. Ranch. Look, see? <laughs> well done, but try to keep everything still, just for a short time. OK, I'm still keeping still. This is a special bed. While you keep still, the bed will move very slowly so that your head passes through the scanner. Oh, through the middle of the donut. That's right. <laughs> I hope it's not a sticky donut. <laughs> Don't worry, Joby. It's definitely not sticky. <laughs> you won't feel anything at all. <sighs> Are you comfortable? Yes, Dr. Ranch. Now, the machine will make a bit of noise, but it's nothing to worry about. Pardon? 
<laughs> I haven't switched it on yet. <laughs> I know. Ready when you are, Dr. Rand. Well, if you're ready then, Javier, we'll do the scan now, OK? Still ready. All right, then. <laughs> I'll be back very soon. It's donut time. <laughs> Well done, Joby. Well done for keeping still. <laughs> How was it? Not too noisy? Oh, it was fine. I didn't feel a thing. Would you like to see the pictures of your brain? Yes, please. Let's go and have a look then. Oh. <laughs> Here's what your brain looks like. It's a funny shape. And that's your skull bone around it. <laughs> now I can tell my dad there definitely is something inside my head. <laughs> that's right, Joby. And your brain looks quite normal and healthy, too. Oh, great. And today I've learned more stuff to keep in my brain. <laughs> Thanks, Dr Rand. You're welcome, JB. Oh, what's that? Your brain is so amazing. All the thoughts inside your head are made up in your brain. Yeah, yeah that is what I said. So if you bump your head or if it gives you pain, the doctor needs a photograph of what's inside your brain. Get a CT scan, a CT scan as you're laying on the bed. Can it look inside your head? Yeah, the CT scan. Yeah, the CT scan. CT scan, a CT scan, as you're laying on the bed. Can it look inside your head? Yeah, the CT scan, yeah, the CT scan can. Computerized tomography. <laughs> That's a lot to say. It looks just like a donut. It's got a special ray. Get a CT scan, a CT scan, as you're laying on the bed. Inside your head Yeah, the CT scan Yeah, the CT scan can <laughs> CT scans are cool Thanks for showing me my amazing brain, Dr Range. Well, thanks for letting me see it oh. <laughs> I think you deserve a sticker for coming along today Oh, cool Bye, Dr Range. Bye, Jovi <laughs> It's time for me and everyone here at the Children's Hospital to say goodbye now. Thanks for coming to see us. See you next time. But until then, be happy, be healthy and get well soon. Welcome to our very special hospital just for children. Come on, I'll show you around. Lots of clever people like doctors and nurses work here. And they're specially trained to care for children, just like you. You may come here because you're not feeling well. Or you need to have a test or an operation. Hello. Hello, Dr. Wang. But don't worry, 
Whatever you're here for, there'll be someone like me to check that you're healthy or to help you get well soon. This is my floor. I'd better get to work. Hello. We're in the neurology department. This is where we see people for anything to do with the brain. I have a patient coming to see me today. I wonder who it will be. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. I know who that is. It's Riz. The world's so full of what and why. I really have to know. How does it work and what is this? And where does that thing go? So much. Hey, Rees, come and sit down. Hello, Dr. Range. Phew! Did you ride your bike here today, Rees? No. So why are you wearing your helmet? In case I fall down, Dr. Range. Oh, have you fallen down recently, Rees? Yes, but I don't remember much. One minute I was standing up, and the next minute I fell on the floor. Ugh. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you remember how you felt before you fell down? Hmm. I remember feeling a bit sick and dizzy, Dr. Range, but that's all. Sounds like you may have fainted, Riz. I don't think I painted anything, Dr. Range. Fainted, not painted. What's that? Fainting is like your body suddenly going to sleep without telling you. Why did my body do that, Dr. Range? You might have fainted for lots of different reasons, but it might be because of something that happened in your brain. What's my brain, Dr. Range? Your brain is a very important part of your body. Inside, there. Inside my head? But Granny said my head's made of wood. It's not made of wood, Riz. She's joking. You've definitely got a brain inside there. What does it look like, Dr. Range? It looks a bit like this. It's all wrinkly. It looks like a big nut. And that makes my body do everything? Everything you do and everything you think is controlled by your brain. It's a bit like your body's very own computer. It doesn't look like a computer, Dr Range. But your brain does work a bit like a computer. How? Your brain sends and receives millions of messages around your body all the time. Messages like, move your arm. Wow! My brain is really clever. But why did my brain tell me to faint and fall down, Dr Range? That's what we're going to try and find out today, Riz, by doing a special test. Oh, a test. Will I have to do a puzzle, Dr Range? It's not that kind of test, Riz. You won't have to do any puzzles. Oh, Granny does crossword puzzles all the time. She says they're good for her brain. What test do I have to do, Dr Range? The test we're going to do today is called an electroencephalogram. An electro what -a -gram? Electroencephalogram. It's a bit of a long word, so we call it EEG for short. An EEG looks at the electricity inside your brain. Electricity in my brain? That sounds dangerous. Don't worry, Riz. The electricity in your brain is a special type of electricity. It's not like the electricity at home. But why is there electricity in my brain? Your brain uses electricity to send its messages. Oh! Are you ready now? I'm ready, Dr. Ranch. Good. First, I need you to take off that cycle helmet and lie down on the couch. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm going to need to put some sticky sensors on your scalp, which I need to clean first. Are you going to cut my hair off, Dr. Ranch? No, Riz, I don't need to cut your hair, but you might want to wash it when you get home. These sticky sensors are quite sticky. 
OK. What are those wires for, Dr Wrench? They send the electrical signals to the EEG machine. The EEG machine shows us all the electrical activity in your brain in a pattern that we can see on the screen. Why? We look at the pattern to check that the electricity in your brain is doing what it should do. But it just looks like a load of squiggles. The squiggles are made by the electricity in your brain. Brain squiggles? If one of those squiggles doesn't fit the right pattern, it might be that some of the messages from your brain aren't going where they should be. Can you see what I'm thinking? <laughs> no, Riz. I can only see the electricity inside your brain. What do I have to do now, Dr Range? All you have to do is sit quietly for a while, Riz. Will I feel the electricity, Dr Ange? Will it give me a shock? <laughs> no, Riz, you won't feel anything and you definitely won't get a shock. Just relax. OK. This is the easiest test in the world. All I have to do is sit still. And EEG's amazing and it's just like I said. It watches all those neurons so busy in your head. So you can tell what's working well and if my brain is fine. I can see what's going on in every squiggly line Those wavy, wiggly lines They can help the doctor tell What's going on inside your head And if your brain is working well Your brain is so amazing, it makes you talk and play Without your brain you couldn't do anything today Let's hear it for the neurons, it's like the doctor said Neurons in their billions, so busy in your head Those wavy, wiggly lines They can help the doctor tell What's going on inside your head And if your brain is working well Wavy, wiggly lines They can help the doctor tell What's going on inside your head and if your brain is working well... OK, Riz, that's the end of the test. We're all finished. I nearly fell asleep, Dr Range. That's OK, Riz. You were keeping very still. Well done. I just need to remove the sensors from your head and you can go home. Did you see my brain squiggles, Dr Range? I did, Riz, and it all looks OK but we'll need to take a closer look at the results to double-check. When I've done that, you can come and see me again and I'll show you the squiggles too. Cool! In the meantime, I think you deserve a sticker for coming to see me today. And now you know what a clever job your brain does, you need to protect your head if you're going to ride your bike. I'm not going to ride my bike, Dr Ange. I'm covering up my hair. You've made a right mess of it. Mm. Sorry about that, Riz. Your hair will be fine after a wash. I know. Thanks, Dr Ranch. You're welcome. Bye, Riz. Bye. It's time for me and everyone here at the Children's Hospital to say goodbye now. Thanks for coming to see us. See you next time. But until then, be happy, be healthy and get well soon. If you're not feeling well, it's always best to go and see your own doctor and get well soon.